welcome back to hi-fi tech and entertainment channel in my last video i introduced the capm cloud application programming model and also i demonstrated how to call a simple function and how to test it it locally now i'm going to take a next big step that is domain modeling in capm so in this video i will explain you how to define a structured data model using cds CDS means Core Data Services in CAPM. So in today's video, I will cover the entities, data types, associations, these all things. I will take some real time example. First, I will give what is what introduction. Then I will take the real time example and we'll start writing code in our pass. So let's get started. Before going to start, just I want to ask you if anyone is interested on that complete fury knowledge i'm going to conduct a paid trainings if you are interested please give your email id in the comment section thank you guys now let's get started so before going to add our business logic we need a data structure right so here the domain modeling comes so the domain modeling is a is a business objects here we are going to define the entities and their relationships that means uh, associations deep entities all things we will use right that's how so here that modeling will be in three different types one is the domain driven design model and also the accept model and one the normal so for that what we need we need data types so before going to data types first what is the main advantage when we are using the data modeling in capm means the first advantage is it will supports the cross application i mean external applications and multiple technologies it will support and second one it will improve to reusability of our custom data types we can define our own custom data types and we can reuse it throughout multiple applications and the third the main advantage is here it will be very easy to maintain the deep entity structures and to perform the CRUD operations. So no need to write a lengthy and nested deep entities code here. It will be in some very easy manner. That's why we are going to choose this. Next, the real example, I'm going to take it now to explain the deep end, to explain the data types in detail. So now I'm going to take a travel booking system if you see here, here I choose four tables. One is customer table, booking table, flight and passengers. So first customer, as a customer, I am the customer. As a customer, I want to book a flight for one place to another place. So what things is required? Name and email ID. So for check the details, we need some default ID. So these are the table fields I'm going to use it for the customer same way for the booking and same for the flight and the passenger so here if two IDs if I if as a person if I enter the my ID I can see the booking details everything that's how it is next data types what type of data types we are using so for example when it comes to ID it will be an unique right so we are what we will use we will use a UUID so this will be an unique for every different user as a customer once I create it will generate one ID that's how it will be and and these are the sum of the inbuilt data types if you define this directly it will support that this everything is comes under the domain modeling section and what are the reusable data types means we can reuse the country currency language these are the some reusable data types we can already the inbuilt features will be there just if you use that it will support all functionalities for example if i use a data type language it will support the multiple languages that's how it will work and next here if you see managed and temper and the card if, for example if you use it the managed how it will work in our real time means for example if i use this managed in my booking what it will do is it will track the complete details i mean date time departure date and also starting date both things will generate automatically that's how we are going to use this so these are the sum of the data types we are going to use next associations association how many types of associations in cds means there are three types of associations that is one to many many to one 
many to many so one to many one to many how it will work means if you go to the my real time example one customers have many bookings right so as a person i am i can book multiple times that is comes on one to many many to many means as a passenger mul- i have multiple bookings will be there as a booking person booking have multiple passengers that's how the many to many connection then booking to flight this is n number of bookings has single flight that's how n to one connection so now you know right how to use this now how to use this all in our real time means let's go to the bus and i will show you the step by step how to define the data types everything and how to use the naming conventions how to use the standard name to define a data type everything i will explain you so let's get start with bus in real time so now in your previous video you guys know how to configure the bus once you click on bus the dev space will be there there you need to create a dev space to start our project here i choose then full stack cloud application once you click on this now our business application studio will open parallelly already i opened my hana database cloud why because to deploy my application and one more thing i want to show you is this one cds so these all topics only i'm going to cover in today's video one is entities association accepts and managed if you want in detail everything step by step just go for this and you can practice what is the good way and bad way now my bas is open let's create a project file new project from template here we need to choose a cap project and give some project name i will give project name as travel and my database is sap hana cloud deployment is cloud foundry that's it finish if you want to use then uh, for app ui configurations you can use all these things i will use as a btp destination service and html file for future i am going to use this click on finish now my pro cap and project is created this is one of the way if you know the commands that's how also we can use as i said before int the project name cd int the project name then it will take you there now yes this is my travel project first what i will do is i will open the terminal travel yeah now expand this so this all things i explained you before but just i will give some slight explanation within the app folder we are going to write our fury thing web app folder db our database srv as our services so first we need to configure some installations for that npm install so all inbuilt features will be installed now with our db we are going to create a file to write our entities schema.cds without this if you run the app i will show you what it will happen if you run this it will show you like okay, let's already i use that platform so it is asking different if you see here no services will be there nothing will be there so it is showing like this so we need to create a service first write the entity what we need to write means go to our ppt slide in that ppt slide what things will be there customer flight booking passenger so these four entities i will going to define it now first entity name entity customer that's how we need to define an entity and this is the entity name is the customer then customer what key fields will be there key id next name next email id
string. So, yeah. So, this is the customer one. Same way, I will define a flight entity. Entity flight. Same, what are the fields? EID. Then, a line will be a string. Then, destination. This is also a string. Then, department. Departure. Sorry. String. So, same way, we need to write for passenger and also the booking. Now, we define four entities, right? Now, I will explain you what things will be there. First one, I will explain you how to use the, as I showed you before, how to import the aspects. That one, how to use it is, for example, for this booking, I need tracking, right? As I told you before, I mean, when the dispatcher timing and also the uh, starting time, everything, right? So, for that, what we need to use is using managed request. From SAP series com. So this is inbuilt. So what is the meaning of this is when I use this managed, what will happen is it will track our complete details. So for this I want to use. So that's how we need to use. For the status. I need to maintain multiple languages. So, what I will do is, I will copy this localization and use it here. So, what it will happen is, it will support the multiple things. Next, CUID. This one is nothing but when we are using UUID, right? So, it will support the primary keys. So, it is a canonical way to define the primary keys by using UUIDs. Yes. That's how it is. Next, if you see the entity names and the naming conventions, how I maintain. If you see in our customer is an entity, what we define. If you see, it starts with capital letter. So, what's my suggestion is every time maintain an entity name starts with capital and the properties. I mean the table name, field names maintain with small letters. So, this will be it will improve to your readability and align with the common programming standards. So that's how we need to maintain. Next, same way if you see for the flight also, key and string format. If you know the length, maintain the length in brackets. Maximum length if you want to maintain. Like this, we can maintain. The next one, as I told you before, domain driven design. So for example, if you, now if you go to an booking entity here we use the managed aspect so what it will happen is it will track the properties changes so and also here if you see it includes the association for both the customer and also the flight so the meaning of this is every booking is linked to one one customer and one flight so that's how i, I maintain it here so here next one is status localized so what is the use of this is it is used for application for serving the multiple regions or also the languages then go to the passenger here you can see the id and booking association for this also we need to associate right so what i will write is so here i write it the booking associates to the booking so, what it will happen is, whatever the booking details will be there in the passenger, that one will be the associated. Next, passenger. Here, if you see, I maintain composition of many passengers on passengers booking equals cell. So, it comes under to passenger to booking, booking to passengers. 
as a graphical way how it look like means just right click open with series graphical modular i will show you the managed accepts how it will comes just wait some few seconds it will take some time to load yeah now it's loading see let's close this and i will minimize now you can see the graph in detail i will explain you here and this is our passenger entity within the passenger entity id name email bookings i will show you the details here everything and the relationships so the booking is associated to the sorry the passenger is associated to the booking to one as i told you before one passenger has multiple week relationship that's how it is next if you move little bit slight here if you see the booking we maintain only id customer flight and passenger but if you see here here the options is there created at created by modified at modified by this all things is it will come because of we maintain that managed property right that that's what see properties here it is there within the relationship you can see the relationship how it is first customer so customer to customer one to one relationship flight to flight one to one for passengers many to many as i told you before multiple passengers have multiple bookings that's how the connection that's why here i have written it comp composition of many passengers on passenger booking equal to self that's how we need to write this next if you go little bit right these all are the entities you can see if you want to add one more entity here we can add it next if you go little bit right this one yeah let's zoom this right yeah then we will zoom that's how we need to do these are the fields of name id email of the flight details so this is our customer details this is flight details this is booking details and plan it that's how we need and here there is no relationship from here to other part so nothing will be there if you want to maintain any relationship click on add we can maintain to one too many or composite that's how we need to maintain the relations so now you guys learn right how the associations we need to we used it here and also what to what and what type of data types we can and how to define an entity and what is the standardized way these all things you guys learned in today's video right in next video i will explain you completely comprehensive and associations on connectivity and more about the cds domain modeling that means till now we covered associations and accepts in next i will show you managed data that means this how to use these variables and also how to maintain an authorizations for this entity that all these authorizations i will explain you in next video so if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and one small request guys if you are need any pay training i will maintain the link in comment section please give your email id and personal contact so i will contact you personally thank you guys thank you for watching